Welcome to this special vlog. It is the Super Bowl 56 vlog. Um, it's been an incredible year. Um, we've done so many crazy things this year. This season has been crazy. I um, started out in Denver, got traded to LA, lost the first three games, started winning, made the playoffs, won a couple of games in the playoffs, and now we are here in the Super Bowl. And um, it is Tuesday before the Super Bowl, on Tuesday night at about 10 p.m. and I'm doing this vlog and it's, uh, it's a special vlog because the Super Bowl is just so much different than any other thing else in the world, any other game. It's the biggest game um, that you could possibly play in and I'm speaking from past experience from Super Bowl 50. It's so special to be here again. Um, it means so much to be here again. Um, I want to have a really, really good game. I think, you know, usually you deal with some type of anxiety or, um, you know, nerves or, you know, uh, pressure that you feel. But in this game, you really don't. You, you really don't feel it. You have two weeks uh, leading up to this game. You go over the game plan two weeks straight. We're thinking about the Cincinnati Bengals all week, all week, watching the offensive line, watching the offense, watching highlights on TV. Even though I, I hate to watch NFL Network or ESPN at this point in time. I hate watching NFL Network or ESPN right now because all they talk about is the Rams and the Cincinnati Bengals. And I just want to get my mind off of that as much as possible. It took a lot to get here. Um, you know, we have to overcome a lot of things to get here. We have everything documented from this year, from going through rehab, to training, getting ready, to golfing, to my son being born, to starting the season off in Denver, to get traded. And it's just been a, a true blessing, man. Um, I feel so blessed to be here. And I could just I could just feel it. It's the same feeling that I had in Super Bowl 50. Um, it's like this quiet confidence. It's the, it's the clear mind. It's the big heart. Um, it's the confidence knowing that you're going to go out there and you're going to play your best ball. And um, you don't want to jinx it and say, we're going to go out there and, and, and do this or do that. But I know we're going to play great ball. I know I'm going to play great ball. You know, playing with Aaron Donald next to me and Leonard Floyd across. That's all we've been talking about. You know, seeing Odell and Matthew Stafford in there. You know, that's, that's, that's all we talk about, man. We've been waiting for this moment our whole entire life. You know, Wednesday will be our first practice of this Super Bowl week. And I remember back in Super Bowl 50, that Wednesday and that Thursday practice that we had in, in San Francisco at Stanford, those were our best practices of the year. And I'm expecting to do the same thing with our team leading up into this game, man. It's, it's gonna be great. I'm uh, super excited to be here. You know, we had the pep rally last night. And just walking out, getting introduced, you know, you had your nerves jumping up, getting ready to go. You feel like, you know, you, you're walking out for the Super Bowl, but you know, you still got six days left, five days left, man. You gotta really just stay in the moment, take it one day at a time, play the game. We still have to play the game. No matter how much they hype it up, no matter how much film you watch, no matter what they say you can and can't do, the game still has to be played. And we're going against a tough um, Cincinnati Bengals team, you know, Joe Barrow, Jamar Chase, uh, Joe Mixon, T. Higgins, uh, Trey Hendrickson, Sam Hubbard. You know, you got all of these. You got all of these guys, man. They're gonna make it tough. But I just feel so confident in, in my team and in my ability. And we just gotta go out there and play the game, man. It's gonna be super fun. This Super Bowl, um, Super Bowl Fifty Six, is totally different than Super Bowl Fifty. Super Bowl Fifty, we left Denver and we went to San Francisco. So we had a whole week in San Francisco. Here, we're at home. There is no team hotel. We go to the team hotel the night before the game, that Saturday before the game. We're trying to keep everything as normal as possible. And um, you know, hopefully the payoff is just another home game for us. We're just wearing different uniforms. And um, you know, it's a different experience, but you know, the end result, hopefully it'll be the same. And speaking of Super Bowl 50, you can't help but think about Super Bowl 50 whenever you're here in Super Bowl 56 because all the things that we're doing, it reminds me of Super Bowl 50 and the things that we did with that team, from the pep rallies, to the practices, to the meetings, to the fans getting excited, to, uh, you know, just hanging out, eating breakfast with the team, you know, doing all the little things that you would do for Super Bowl week, the taking pictures, uh, the, the, the team portraits, portraits with your family. And I remember all these things because I was going through my phone this morning and I had, 
all these pictures of TJ and Tlaib and DT and CJ and Kayvon and all of these guys, man. And we create new moments in Super Bowl 56, but check out these moments from Super Bowl 50. And this is from my camera reel. So check it out, guys. Oh. <laughs> hey, Chris. Hey, last time we did this shit. And we was talking about this shit, we were hurt in this end zone. He was over there in that corner, boy. Hey, who would've yeah, thought, hey. bro? Who would've thought? Super Bowl opening night. Mm -hmm. While the entire world is eagerly anticipating Super Bowl 50, <laughs> these AFC champion Broncos behind me are obviously determining quite focused. Hey! Hey, I'm freestyling now, baby. Hey, I can't believe you're reporting live, man. Super Bowl 50, man. I'm dripping, man. <laughs> Whenever you play in games like this, I feel like you get the most um, out of yourself when you're playing for somebody else. And, um, you know, I'm always playing for my family. Um, you know, I'm always playing for all the people that supported me and helped me get here. Um, but, but this Super Bowl, you know, I'm, 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 I'm playing for, for my son Val. You know, um, he was born this year, uh, six months ago. I'm playing for him. I know he's gonna look back on this and see daddy playing. You know, and I'm, and I'm motivated um, to play in a way that'll make him proud, that'll make him proud of me to be like, man, that's my dad. You know, maybe you know, 20 years, 15 years down the road, you know, he look at this, he know that he was always in my mind, I'm always thinking about him. That's why I wear my uh, Valor Thop hat, you know, this whole year, every, ever since uh, he was born, man, it's been all about him in my mind. I might not uh, post the pictures and do this every day, but I just uh, trust me, like, there's no time like this. He's on my mind 24 seven, especially now I'm going to the Super Bowl. And I want him to be proud of me when he watches this film uh, 15, 20 years down the road. Um, I'm, I'm playing for my boy DT. You know, he had a, uh, you know, just a crazy death, man. It's just so sudden and we never really got to, it's just so many things that, you know, that happened with DT and I know he's looking down on me, he's proud, you know, in the way that I'm playing. I'm, I'm playing for DT as well, I'm playing for DT's family. Um, and I'm playing for my new teammates. Um, I got a lot of deserving teammates, you know, Aaron Donald, Andrew Whitworth, Cooper Cup, Odell Beckham, that's my boy, man, that's my brother. You know, we kind of talked this into existence. And now we got an opportunity to go play in the Super Bowl and hopefully win it. You know, I'm, I'm playing for, you know, all the coaches and all the fans that, that look up to me to, to make the play, you know, I'm, uh, coming uh, ready to go on Sunday. And, you know, I'm playing for all of you guys, man. Val, DT, my new teammates, AD, man, we're gonna get you one, bro. We're gonna get you a Super Bowl, man. You deserve it. Um, it's, it's been a, a crazy road here. You know, we just got we just got one more game. You know, this is the last game of the entire football season. And I've been here three times, man, and it's, uh, it's no other feeling like it. And um, I just want to do everything we can do to get my teammates in the football heaven and celebrate this all offseason. Um, and that's it, everybody. You know, um, we're going to still keep these vlogs going. You know, it'll be the golf season edition. Yeah, I did that the off season, but put the golf in front. It's going to be the golf season edition. You know, hopefully we're going to golf heaven as well. And we'll be playing at, you know, all these different golf courses. And, you know, my vlogs are, are kind of turning from football to golf, which I would be so excited about. And uh, make sure y'all stay tuned, man. We're going from Super Bowl to golf season, man. It's going to be great, man. The vlogs are still going to be flowing, man. I love and I appreciate y'all for all the support, man. Vonda done. I'm out.